Welcome back to Broken Bobby's Transformation page. In the late 80s, I became involved with drugs and would eventually become part of that lifestyle of trafficking, addiction, and violence. Over the next 20 years, I would be in and out of jail and prison. If you're thinking about trying something or you're dealing with addiction, your life don't need to go down the same path mine did. I hurt a lot of people, both physically and emotionally. These are my stories of how I transformed my life, and you can too. Let's get All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see by the title and the thumbnail, this is prison gangs and how they work from a free world individual's perspective. Okay, so you commit a crime and you go to prison. Basically, there are, uh, I always refer to the big four and uh, we're going to keep it that way. I'm not, <clears throat> you guys know me, I'm not naming any names or anything like that, but uh, we're going to look at this from the perspective of a business. And a lot of these groups, and I'm speaking for California prison, early 2000s. What's going on in there today? I have no clue. Uh, and I wouldn't even want to speculate because it's none of my business. If you are new to the channel and you enjoy this sort of content, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Uh, also, hit that like button if you enjoy this video. Drop a comment and let me know what you think. And be sure to share the video. It helps to get the message out. Because truly what this channel is about is sobriety and not ending up in prison or institutions. <clears throat> okay, so the prison gang. Think of it as, let's say, a law firm. Okay, so you have the partners, right, which would be your prison gang. These guys are all partners, basically, brothers, however you want to look at it. And basically, nothing happens in this law firm without them signing off on, on it. So this law firm, it's a Fortune 500 type of company. It's making a lot of money through illegal activities or legal activities in, in this scenario, right? Okay, so under the partners, you have all these individuals that want to be a partner, basically. So they're the ones, you know, like in a, in a law firm, as we're going with the example, the junior partners or, you know, the ones that are striving to be a partner are the ones that are working 100 hours a week. They're doing all the footwork. They're earning for the partners. And, you know, there's lots of ways that they can earn. Uh, I'll leave that to your imagination. But prison yards, they're earning. On the streets, they're earning. And this is all funneling up to the partners who are the beneficiary, basically, of uh, all the blood, sweat, and tears of the junior associates who are striving to become a partner. Um, now, a major contrast between the free world and the prison world is you could put years in to your career, and that's what we would call it in there, uh, and if you make a mistake, you know, that's worthy, rather than being fired or terminated from the job, uh, you could be unalived. And like I said, I don't know what, I have no idea what's going on in there now. So uh, I wouldn't even care to speculate on that. But basically, so you have that, you know, you have the partners, you have the junior associates who are the so-called gangs, not the prison gangs, but more street gangs type of individuals who are part of some sort of collective and uh, basically they fall under the partners. So you got the partners, you got the junior associates, regular folks there. And 
um, a lot of these people are going to be the customers, to be quite frank, in uh, in a prison type situation. So uh, people go to prison and they have addictions and habits and stuff. And basically, a lot of times the junior associates of this company will take care of that as far as supplying what the customers need. So, um, you know, that that's kind of the hierarchy of how this stuff works. Like I said, the, you know, before a customer or a junior associate basically can be terminated, potentially unalive, a partner typically will sign off on that. And uh, unless, you know, paperwork's always checked when you get to prison. If you got funny crimes, that's not necessarily something that's going to get ran all the way up to the top. Uh, that stuff gets dealt with the way it gets dealt with. And everybody knows the rules as far as that stuff goes. If you got those S crimes or those R crimes, then, uh, you know, you're going to be dealt with, basically. So uh, that's kind of an overview of how prison gangs work from a free world type of perspective. Uh, I hope this was helpful and it like i said if you enjoy this sort of content be sure to subscribe to the channel uh you know hit that like button if you enjoy this stuff hit that thumbs down if you don't like it either way though drop a comment and let me know what you think if you've been to the joint then uh give me your perspective did i get it right did i get it wrong you know i didn't spend uh i in, in the world of prison, I guess you would say, I, I definitely spent some time around some junior associates. Uh, never spent any time around any partners uh, at that level. Uh, there were definitely some people that were aspiring when I hit ADSEG. But you know me, I, I don't drop names or nothing like that. So uh, you can kind of get the idea of where I'm going with that. But... Uh, you know, the whole idea of this is, you know, if we don't put ourselves in situations where we're going to end up in prison, then we don't need to worry about any of this stuff. You know, the thing is, prison is a treacherous place, especially now. You know, I don't have any recent experience in prison, but from what I've read from news releases and stuff, people are getting unalived all the time. And... You know, from what I hear, uh, those partners are on the yard now. So, you know, people that are trying to make a name are going extra hard. And, you know, people are getting life lighted off these yards left and right. And it's just a really ugly situation. And, you know, it's not a good place to be. Um, you know, if you're new to sobriety or thinking of getting into sobriety, welcome. You can do this. I have faith in you. Have faith, have some faith in yourself because you can do this. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is just kind of a brief uh, summing up of the way prison used to be. And, you know, uh, there, you know, it, it's a treacherous place. And the thing is, you know, at one point I was, looking to be striving to be something more. And then uh, all that changed when my wife wrote that letter back and said, don't be stupid, just do your time and get out. Because I literally went up to, the, to our the guy that had the keys for us and said, my hand's up for everything. Like I'm looking to get some political ink and make a name for myself. And basically told her that uh, she was free to go on with her life, you know, and find happiness somewhere else because, you know, I couldn't keep myself out of handcuffs and, you know, being locked up. So, uh, yeah. And then when she wrote the letter back saying to just do my time, <laughs> I had to go over there and say, hey, you know what I had said before, <laughs> just kidding, you know, but, uh, not nah, dude was 
really understanding and I had already done some stuff uh, for my car and you know for my people basically so it was understood and basically I was told you know if it kicks off then you know what you got to do and of course I understood that like you know it's not like you can uh, call time out and get out of the way when things get crazy in there so yeah like I said that's the story for the day I hope you guys enjoyed it uh, you know, it's definitely not the place to be. And, you know, when you choose that career for, uh, you know, what you want to do, when these indictments drop, you, you can get tangled up in these things real easy. And something that should have got you a couple years in the joint could end up getting you 20 plus, 30 plus, even life. So, uh, you know, choose wisely in what you do. Uh, don't look at the mountain, just start climbing.